Hi everyone, it's me Aaron with Android Incorporated. Today I'm gonna be talking about 5 must-have Android apps. I've done so much homework and spent so much time creating this video so please like and subscribe and keep supporting my channel. So without further ado let's get started. Today I'm gonna be talking about an app that can replace a dozen apps on your smartphone. Today's app is FuView Float Viewer. This is one of the best multitasking app I've ever seen. With FuView you can do almost anything. FuView can make searching, taking screenshots, and navigating on our smartphones a bit easier. It's from the developer of ES File Explorer. What you basically have here is a floating button which is kind of what the assistive touch button is on iPhones, but this one has more function. For one thing, you can take screenshots by letting it hover on the area you're eyeing, drag a box to capture the part that you want and then a pop-up button will either let you save it as a photo, share it on selected social networks or if they are words in a language other than your own, get it translated. The floating button also has several other purposes aside from screenshots. If you swipe it, you can go back to a previous app or screen, go home or get notifications. You can also swipe up to get to the full view UI and then use gestures to open apps or web addresses. For example, if you write G, you can open Google or if you swipe by, Instagram. Long pressing the button makes you switch between apps. Plus, a lot of other simple things that you would have to learn. It also comes with an inbuilt browser, a music player, video player, screen recorder and even a file manager, all of them in a single floating button. I have been using this app for the past few months and like other floating apps it never crashed, not even once. It also has an inbuilt floating game which can keep you entertained while you are installing apps or downloading huge files. Fullview is an all-in-one app and you must definitely check this out. The next app on the list is Chroma Keyboard. Chroma resembles Google Keyboard quite a bit, and it even offers swipe as one of its features. Unlike Google Keyboard, however, it allows you to customize it, and it's quite colorful. This keyboard is resizable, and it supports quite a few languages, while it also offers a night mode option. There are a ton of emojis included in here, and you can customize its layout. The material design is visible all over this application, which is a plus if you appreciate well-executed design. There are tons of third-party keyboards available in the Google Play Store, where Kuma really shines, though, is in its adaptive color management. Confused by that idea? Let me attempt to explain. Kuma is using this smart color system, where it matches up the color of the keyboard to whatever app you are using. For example, in WhatsApp, you get a green keyboard that matches up to the color of WhatsApp. In YouTube, it shows up as red. And it does this all automatically as you jump between each without a hiccup. It also has its own clipboard, lots of GIFs, one-handed mod, and lots of emojis. It's the most customizable and highly productive keyboard app. You must definitely try this out. The next app on the list is Awesome Pop-Up Video Player. Awesome Pop-Up Video is a video player unlike others. It plays the video in pop-up window, floating above other applications, just like on your computer. There are many floating video player apps on Play Store but this one, in my experience, is the best, because it never crashed. You can log in with YouTube and easily access your personal playlists. It also has a first row tab, which is one-stop hub to get the trending videos around you. It has Chromecast support, currently available for external videos. You can customize the player colors to match your phone theme. For devices that support multi-window you can play multiple videos at the same time. In rooted devices it can be installed as an exposed module which comes with additional features. Do check this out.
The next app on the list is Toucher Pro. Toucher Pro is a small tool application which may maximize your Android multitasking capability. All the functionalities are fast accessible just in single touch away. It stays on top of everything, quick, easy and customizable. And we have dozens of themes and styles for choosing. It also includes easily accessible toggles more than those present in the notification menu. Quick access to most used apps for functionalities, such as weather, message, address book, screen locker, memory cleaner, flashlight, screenshot etc. You can create your own shortcuts in one panel, shortcuts to 19 system switches, including Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, volume, etc. Fully customizable, changing tab colors, panel size, point size, etc. Virtual control keys for quick access to home, back and menu. Most of the functions are present in Pro version but free version comes with basic functions. You can either purchase the Pro version or complete certain offers to get the Pro version for free. Do check this out. Our next app is Flyinx Browser. Flyinx is a mobile web browser, to be more precise, it's a floating browser. It makes it really easy to open up a bunch of tabs when you're browsing through Twitter or Facebook that you can read later. Links collects them up at the top of your screen and lets you tap through them pretty quickly too. Closing a tab is as easy as swiping it to the bottom of the screen. The result is, without a doubt, the best way to have multiple browser tabs open at the same time. To make Flanx work, it's as easy going into your settings and selecting it to be your default browser. From there on out, whenever you open a link whether it's from Facebook, an email or from within another website title open up in a new chat I'd like tab. One of the big features of Flyinx is that it will also reduce full web pages down to reader friendly texts. Flyinx also lets users quickly save articles to read later which can then be opened up in the Flyinx app and read oh fine. You must try this app for a better multitasking experience. I have spent so much time creating this video so please like and subscribe and keep supporting my channel.